Nee, 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 nee. Hey, look at me. I'm so cool. Do, 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 do. Okay, the first thing you should definitely do is print out all of your syllabi. That's something I do right away because I always want to know what's due, what's the expectations for it, when can I get started on it, and um, what am I going to need to get it done. Have motivational Lego people there to encourage you when you're doing your homework. Woohoo, yeah, go Dave, do your homework. Hey Gandalf, how am I going to do in my class this semester? You shall not pass. Now most of the syllabi have within them, you know, a little schedule of how the semester is going to be. I also put the calendar portions, I print out another copy of that, and I put them on my wall. Here's two classes right there. So see, it's just the date the topic will be on and what reading is due. And then you scroll down, paper due, scroll down, it'll be like a test. So that helps me visualize what I need to get done and how much time I have left to do it. Take five minutes a day to stare at your inspirational Asian writing. Here are the books. So I try to do a month before classes start. I order all the books and then I arrange them by class. So this is all for one class another, another, and then I have the other books in the other room because I'm reading them. So when I have that class, I can just grab this corner and head out. I think of the books as a personal trophy because each book that I have and read through is a little symbol that I completed this class and I added this sort of knowledge to my mind. And when I feel like there's just too much work to do. I don't know how I'm gonna get it done. I look at my shelves, I'm like, all right, I've already accomplished so much. So I can do one more semester. I can read one more book. That just helps me stay motivated. Highly recommend having is an organized workspace. As you can see, mine is nowhere near organized right now. But that's okay, because I'm in the middle of a lot of things and I know where everything is. But yeah, if you can have your own little space on the corner of your bed or in the corner of a desk, like, do that. And that can be your sanctuary for doing homework. And whenever you need to do it, you go there and you do it, and then you come back. If you try to do your homework on your bed or at the dining room table or wherever, um, it sort of overlaps with everything else in your life. No matter how busy you get, remember to always take time for yourself. Who's my cute little octopus? Yes, you are. Yes, you are, my little cute. No, 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 no. Look at me. I'm so cool. Do, 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 do. Thanks for watching that super weird video. Um, I promise I won't do the octopus thing again if you guys subscribe right up there. <laughs> yeah, so I hope at least one of those was semi helpful to you. And if you guys have any good tips for studying or being organized in college and school, um, write them down in the comments below. Right, have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.